are you crazy are you mad like what 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 are you what were you trying to accomplish like that is stupid like i'm sorry i am so sorry that is absolutely ridiculous what's good guys it's your girl keisha ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be talking about some of you guys's shocking luck experiences and guys already some of them that i've been reading i'm just like oh M G what but anyway we're gonna jump right into it okay so the first shocking experience I got was from one of my viewers slash subscribers who left a comment right she left a comment and I think this was on the video about combing out locks right and she was talking about wanting to comb out her locks and this is what she said um so basically she said, um, you know, I was going to comb mine out and I decided I want to start over for my birthday next year. So I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do? And she said, that's what I'm not sure about. I got instant locks and several of them came completely undone in the middle and the whole back row. So I was like, your instant locks came undone? I don't even understand how your instant locks can come undone. Like, as you guys would see in the video that I shared, which will be linked right here, free to check out on how you start your instant locks, there is absolutely no way, no way that when you install instant locks that you are going to experience unraveling especially she said um in the middle in the middle so like say for example this was an instant lock how is it getting undone right here like that is not even supposed to be happening so she said that's what i said and my loctician keeps putting me off for my retwist i don't like several people in my head like she don't like a lot of different people in her head right so she says she said she would fix it but it's been almost four months and now it's knotting uncomfortably at the root i have done the retwist on my own but my hair grows quickly i love them i de but i'm definitely disappointed now imagine that you pay a loctician to install instant locks as well because i know those are not cheap as well just like sister locks and you have made it known that you're not happy and you want this fixed and they keep putting you off for a total of four months who lot of mercy if that was me the whole of the jamaican within me would have come out a long time be your argument be your cousin i go go on because that can't run that can't run no i would be so so angry especially paying that much money to get your locks installed like let me tell you when i did my instant locks when i did it myself on my first lock journey do you know how long it took me i was getting so frustrated because i'm like this is taking too long and as you would see in the video that i shared that took me 10 minutes to install one lock and that's obviously the, depending on the length of your hair it took me 10 minutes but obviously the shorter your hair is the less time it would take but let's say your hair is average length like mine was and that is taking you 10 minutes to install one and i pay you all that money and then you're gonna tell me i must wait four months no you keep putting it off and then a whole four months pass <laughs> oh lord oh lord god like i would not mm -mm no that is something i am not for and any loctician out there that's doing this to their clients you don't deserve to have clients because that is poor customer service now you know you know you didn't do a good job and you're going to take that person's money and then you want to tell them oh no come back come back come back till four months pass and this person because i know there's a lot of people out there that don't like a bunch of different people in their heads right and this person is like you know what i want to come to you i really want to come to you and then you're still like putting them off like that's terrible that is absolutely terrible and if that was me oh like i says 10 minutes just to install one of mine and imagine say you had like say 70 locks right 
So 70 times 10 minutes, that's like an hour and 10 minutes roughly, right? Well, that's not a long time, is it? Is it 10? Is that, did, I, did I do that right? Nah, I did that so wrong. <laughs> But anyway, you get the point, right? Like it is going to take a lot of time. Man, that math was so terrible. I can't believe I says an hour and 10 minutes. No. <laughs> Six locks would be an hour. <laughs> so guys, I know I was wrong. I just, I, I wasn't that quick. Okay, I just wasn't that quick. <laughs> Don't judge me. But anyway, moving on to the next lock um, shocker. <laughs> um, so someone had posted that they have been sharing um, how they have been stressed and their entire lock fell out. I will try and insert it on screen for you guys to see. But guys, I know exactly how that person feel because if you guys remember when I was experiencing um, postpartum hair loss and my luck started to thin out and literally I had to cut the luck. Guys, seriously. Ooh, that day I was so angry like you guys don't even understand like when I came on camera to record like I had calmed down a lot because trust me when I saw that I was like <laughs> I don't even want to repeat some of the words that was coming out of my mouth but I was so so upset so to lose a lock you know due to stress and th that's the thing you know i think and well i'm going to speak from my personal experience like when i experienced well yeah experienced um you know postpartum hair loss the first time around i remember thinking to myself well oh maybe you know if all my hair is bundled together if um you know i start to lose my hair again then um it wouldn't look bad that's just what I had thought like this was like my first time experiencing postpartum hair loss so that would that would go back to 2015 well I won't say that was my first time experiencing it but that's the first time it was really terrible and that's why I started my lock journey to kind of hide um what was going on um and I thought it was gonna hide it well but it was just like no because we have to remember when the hair strand is falling out right it doesn't matter where it is it is gonna literally come out of the pore that is on your scalp. So it's coming from deep within the, um, the hair follicle, which is in the hypodermis, which I have spoken about the hair follicle, which I'll go ahead and link above, as well as in the description bar below, for you guys to learn a little bit more about that, as well as how stress impacts hair growth. I'll go ahead and link those videos. But when um, you start to shed your hair due to stress, it's like, um, you know the hair follicles are being shut off like oxygen has been shut off to the hair follicle and the hair will start to fall out so you would think that your locks because you have so much locks right here like you know I shared with you guys um, in my postpartum video and you saw all that hair bunched up in my lock and that was postpartum hair loss, my ad, which is a form of hormonal imbalance, which is the same as stress. It's a form of hom hormonal imbalance, sorry. You know, it can still affect your hair journey, your lock journey, etc. And you can literally lose a whole entire lock. So, oh yeah, that that is like, I completely understand and know what this person is going through because losing your hair let alone a whole entire lock and you know that's another thing you know I always hear people talk about oh it's hair it will grow back let me tell you this right until you experience this until you go through hair loss you will not truly understand what a person is going through how that person feel you know because i've seen it in other people's comment section as well people who share about losing their hair and whatever and some people are always oh, hair it will grow back oh it's whatever okay 
you go through it and tell me how you feel because it's a different level of um, emotional connection that you realize that you don't realize that you have with your hair so it's like oh I always have my hair Oh, it will grow back. Oh, I've cut my hair and it's grown back. No, how about losing your hair? How about your something's going on inside your body that is causing your hair to, to fall out and you are trying everything and it's not working? You will have a completely different outlook. So please, guys, be more understanding. And if you don't have nothing good to say, just be quiet. Or if you want to say something, do some research first and then come back and leave a comment okay so the next shocker now this one really had me like let me read it this person wrote yo my sister permed her daughter's locks at the roots is that bad? That's the question they ask. I am not even gonna lie. When I read this, when I read this, I was like, what did you say? Your sister did what? Put relaxer on the roots of her daughter's locks. why what is wrong with people why are you relaxing the root of your daughter's locks are you crazy are you mad like what 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 are you what were you trying to accomplish like oh maybe they're trying to think um so it doesn't get puffy or something like that which is normal your hair frizz up is that what it is listen i don't know the person never said but i'm like while i'm recording this i'm actually trying to think is that the reason because that would be stupid why are you relaxing the roots of your hair because you don't want it to puff up like are you crazy now imagine not washing out the perm properly and then the, all that chemical eat away at the um, the and the new growth, and you know the new growth is much more um, you know it's it's much it's new right so it's not as uh, um, what can I say it's not it's not that it's not strong but it's like you know like with a baby when a baby is born you want to be very gentle so it's kind of like your new growth you want to be gentle with it. you don't want to be putting no harsh chemicals because if you think about it that's fresh new hair you know growing from the hair follicle that is coming out to obviously make your hair even longer because it grows from the inside out not from the out from the ends out <laughs> you know what i mean so you are going to put this harsh chemical on your roots your daughter's roots for what reason that is stupid like i'm sorry i am so sorry that is absolutely ridiculous like the thing is, if you want to keep the roots of your hair looking more, you know, neat for longer, cover your hair. Cover it, sweetie. It will still look as neat, okay? And if worse come to worse, just retwist. But please don't retwist too often. Because retwist is supposed to last a good couple, probably a week or so, or up to two weeks. It just depends. But it should work, um, last up to two weeks because if you retwist and then you cover the hair every night it will stay neater for longer yes you're gonna have a little bit of frizz here and there but that's normal come on perming roots off your locks are you crazy stop okay guys so that's all i have for today um i just thought i wanted to you know share my opinion on some of these um comments that i have come across you know and uh, I don't, I don't know it's, it's just content i think it's something different you know um because i have never experienced anything like that um especially paying people to do your hair and then it become undone and then 
the one to put no i am not the one <laughs> But okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then please go ahead and give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And until next time, I will be back with another video. Bye.